Hello and welcome back. This is Photoshop Elements Made Easy series of tutorials. This is part 15 and in this series I will show you how to add a frame around a photo. For the purpose of illustration I have a photo opened up in my Photoshop Elements already and if you look at the layers panel here you will see that it shows there is a background layer with the picture and that's the uh, usual thing to happen uh, and when you see that background layer over there you know you are ready to add a frame to the picture if you want to that is to add a frame first you need to find the frame you want to add photoshop comes with dozens maybe hundreds of different frame designs and colors and patterns you have to choose from them to see the frames click on this graphics icon on the bottom of the screen here and click on it you will see there are different kinds of frames available all these are frames there must be hundreds of frames there okay to see the frames if you look up here you, you, there are lots of different things you, you keep if if you if you, if it is not already chosen you click on by type and from the right hand column you click frames then you will see the frames but there are other things like let me show you there are background there are graphics shapes text and everything but to keep things simple select frames and you see the frames that are available now let's just say we want this frame to be added on our picture so all you need to do is click on it and drag the frame over the picture and see something has happened let's go back to the layers panel here and you will see Photoshop has done something automatically to the picture you can see the frame around the picture with a slider just over the picture on the left hand side and you can move this slider left or right to increase or decrease the size of the picture whenever you are satisfied with the positioning you can also click anywhere in the middle of this picture and drag it up and down to move the picture to your desired position and whenever you are satisfied with it let's say we want it a little bit on the right also uh, like so and whenever you are happy with the positioning of the picture click on the green check mark and immediately this picture and the frame get stuck together now if you want to move you will see the frame and the picture is moving together but what if you want to redo the positioning of the picture inside the frame you double click on it and you'll see the slider appear again and you can again move the picture to whatever position you want let's keep it there for the sake of illustration and commit the positioning now that's how you added the frame but if you notice the picture has gotten considerably smaller in size it's a smaller picture inside the frame and there are empty spaces all around this photo the outside the frame the up top bottom left right there are empty spaces now how do you take care of that and increase the size of the picture as it was originally as much as you can see Photoshop has already put these uh, handles around the picture or in the frame and this move tool is selected that means you can now move the whole thing like so you move it upwards to wherever you want let's say we'll keep it there you move downwards you're trying to regain the empty space and increase the size of the actual picture so we'll do that way and do the same thing on this side too so we have done that let's commit that selection 
Now, you can stop right there. You have got it already. But it is always better, or at least I think it is better, if you add some extra space around the frame here for several reasons. It looks better, and if you want to print out this picture, usually the printable area is very limited and some of the frame might get cropped out. So it is better to leave some empty space outside and also that will uh, enhance the picture. So I'll show you how to do that. You click on the crop tool and click anywhere in, in a corner of the picture and move it diagonally to the other corner and let the mouse button go. So you have selected the entire picture for cropping and now you have to increase that crop area. All you need to do is bring your mouse cursor to one of the points there and hold down the Alt key in your PC computer and move it. You will see all four sides are expanding and then they are expanding equally. Let the mouse button go and commit the selection. So you have in increased that. But this extra space that you have added is all transparent as is uh, shown by this gray and white checkerboard pattern. So you need to fill it up with some kind of color. I will prefer white but you can select anything you like, black or some other color. To do that you need to create an additional layer. Look at this layers panel here. I will click on the control key on my PC. Uh, it will be command key on your Macintosh computer and click on this dog-eared piece of paper on top here and click. See, immediately a new layer has been added on the bottom of this original picture layer. This is the picture layer and that's the new layer and that is also transparent. How do you fill that up with some kind of color? It's very easy. Go to the edit menu here on top, click on it, then come down here where it says fill layer, click on it and choose any kind of color. There are various options, foreground, background, any color, any pattern, whatever. Uh, white is already chosen so I'll keep that. I, I, I like white in such cases and just OK it and see. The picture is looking much brighter and better and it's way different from what it was originally before we added the flame, frame. All you need to do this now is go to the layers panel here again and click on flatten image. So as soon as you flip it, all these different layers got stuck together. They become one piece of uh, one picture or one layer rather. And now you save it as JPEG or PNG or whatever format you prefer. I usually save my pictures in JPEG form. And that's it. That's how you added a uh, frame to the picture. It is so easy to do and there are so many choices available. Just play with some of your pictures, try different frames and see whichever you like best. That's it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching. This is Shobhan Sen or Kimbhut65 saying goodbye. Thank you.